In aviation, stability is everything. The entire industry is built on the promise that every flight will be as safe and predictable as the last. From the moment a plane leaves the ground to the second it touches down, trust in the system is paramount. Airlines depend on reliable aircraft and passenger trust. Every ticket sold is a silent agreement that the journey will be uneventful and that the technology behind it is sound. On a quiet Tuesday in 2025, China Southern Airlines abruptly grounded and put up for sale its entire fleet of Boeing 787 Dreamliners. The announcement came without warning, catching the world off guard. The move was immediate and total, a shocking rejection of one of the world's most advanced airplanes. Overnight, dozens of Dreamliners were pulled from service, their future uncertain. Major airlines don't discard billions in assets overnight. The financial implications alone were staggering, sending ripples through the global economy. This was a crisis of confidence that sent shockwaves through the industry. Executives scrambled to understand what had gone wrong while regulators demanded answers. Boeing's shares plummeted while Airbus surged as the world demanded answers. Investors and analysts speculated wildly, fueling uncertainty in the market. Was this a China Southern problem or a flaw in every Dreamliner? The question hung in the air, unanswered and unsettling. The silence from both airline and manufacturer was deafening. Passengers grew uneasy, wondering if their next flight might be affected. Other airlines faced a flood of questions and scrutiny. Travelers demanded reassurance while staff struggled to keep up with the growing anxiety. The sale was more than business. It was a public declaration of no confidence. The world watched as China Southern distanced itself from the Dreamliner. Rumors swirled. Had China Southern uncovered a secret so dangerous that grounding the fleet was the only option? Whispers of hidden flaws and urgent memos spread quickly. Soon, a story emerged of hidden dangers and manufacturing flaws within the Dreamliner's very structure. Inspections revealed issues that had gone unnoticed for years, raising new fears about safety. The Dreamliner, Boeing's symbol of innovation, was suddenly under suspicion. What was once a marvel of engineering now faced a crisis of credibility. China Southern's decision was a desperate warning shot, forcing the aviation world to confront the true cost of progress. The future of the Dreamliner, and perhaps the industry itself, hung in the balance. China Southern Airlines stands as a true giant in global aviation, not just in Asia but across the world. With a vast modern fleet and far-reaching influence, the airline has long been a symbol of China's rise in the skies. Its partnership with Boeing has spanned decades built on mutual trust, shared ambition, and a vision for connecting continents. The arrival of the 787 Dreamliner marked a new era, lighter, faster and more fuel-efficient than its predecessors. It promised airlines the ability to open new long-haul routes, reduce costs, and offer passengers a quieter, more comfortable journey. China Southern quickly embraced the Dreamliner, making it the backbone of its ambitious international expansion, flying to cities across Europe, North America, and beyond. The first 787 delivery was celebrated as a milestone, a symbol of US-China cooperation and technological progress. For years the Dreamliner was the pride of the fleet, carrying millions of passengers safely and efficiently to destinations around the globe. By 2025, the 787 was no longer a risky newcomer, but a mature, proven aircraft trusted by airlines and passengers alike. So when news broke of a sudden sell-off, the aviation world was stunned. This wasn't just a case of buyer's remorse or a routine fleet update. China Southern had built its global network around the Dreamliner's unique capabilities relying on its range and efficiency. Abandoning the 787 meant something fundamental had shifted within the airline's strategy or confidence. The trust in Boeing's engineering, once rock solid, was now shaken to its very core, raising urgent questions. The move suggested a flaw so deep, so critical, that it overturned years of operational confidence and planning. The world watched in disbelief and speculation. What had China Southern discovered that could trigger such a dramatic decision? The 787's revolution was its carbon fiber body, strong, light, and efficient. Boeing's barrel-shaped composite fuselage sections replaced thousands of aluminum sheets and rivets, cutting fuel burn by 20%. Passengers enjoyed higher humidity, larger windows, and a smoother ride. The cabin could be pressurized to a lower altitude, reducing jet lag and fatigue. Airlines and regulators embraced the promise of lower costs and better comfort. The FAA and ESA certified the aircraft after extensive testing, convinced carbon fiber was the future. The Dreamliner became the fastest-selling wide-body jet in history, 
but working with composites at this scale brought new manufacturing challenges. Boeing developed new inspection techniques assuring the world of its quality. For years, the Dreamliner seemed to deliver on its promise, until hidden flaws began to surface. The unraveling began quietly, almost unnoticed, during what was supposed to be a routine maintenance check inside a bustling hangar. A sharp-eyed technician discovered a tiny, almost invisible crack near a rivet hole, hidden deep within the intricate structure of a Boeing 787. Rather than dismissing it as a minor flaw, he insisted on a thorough investigation, sensing that something more serious might be lurking beneath the surface. Advanced ultrasonic scans soon revealed a disturbing truth, delamination, where the layers of carbon fiber were separating, was spreading outward from the rivet, threatening the aircraft's integrity. Alarmed by the findings, China Southern Airlines quietly launched a secret audit of its entire 787 fleet, determined to uncover the full extent of the problem before word could get out. The audit results were chilling. Microcracks, widespread delamination, and misaligned rivets were discovered across multiple aircraft, painting a picture of a much larger issue. These weren't just isolated defects. The evidence pointed to a systemic flaw in both the design and assembly process, raising questions about the safety of every Dreamliner in the sky. The flaws themselves were minuscule, almost imperceptible to the naked eye, but their implications were massive, potentially catastrophic if left unaddressed. The CEO now faced an agonizing dilemma, risk causing public panic by revealing the truth, or continue flying planes that might be compromised, endangering countless lives. After weeks of tense, secret consultations and heated debates among top executives, a difficult decision was finally reached behind closed doors. The risk, they concluded, was simply too great to ignore or conceal any longer. The Dreamliners would have to be grounded immediately, and many were quietly put up for sale, their future uncertain. Soon, the world's media would descend, eager to uncover the truth behind the sudden grounding and the growing aviation crisis. The secret was finally out, the very foundation of the Dreamliner was quietly coming apart, and the world would never look at the aircraft the same way again. The core problem was in the manufacturing tolerances. Boeing's process for joining carbon fiber fuselage barrels wasn't as precise as claimed. Misaligned rivet holes created stress points in the composite material, starting tiny cracks. Micro gaps between fuselage sections, sometimes left unfilled, became weak spots. Over thousands of flights, these flaws allowed microscopic movements, degrading the structure. Misaligned rivets and micro gaps worked together, causing delamination, layers peeling apart from within. Unlike metal cracks, these were invisible until critical. China Southern's engineers realized the planes were aging with hidden, cumulative damage. Standard inspections missed this type of degradation. Only a complete teardown could guarantee safety, an impossible, costly task. The only logical move was to sell the fleet. The Dreamliner's flaw was fundamental, not just a maintenance issue. The risk was simply too high to ignore. Carbon fiber's strength is legendary, but its weakness is moisture. If raw carbon fiber absorbs humidity before curing, microscopic voids form, weakening the finished part. China Southern traced some flaws to lapses in environmental controls at a Boeing supplier. These invisible defects passed initial checks but became focal points for cracks over time. The problem wasn't the material, but the unforgiving process and global supply chain. A single lapse could introduce a hidden weakness that might not show for years. The dream of a lightweight future was now haunted by invisible decay. China Southern's investigation exposed more than technical flaws. It revealed a systemic failure in Boeing's global supply chain. Boeing outsourced major sections to dozens of partners worldwide, aiming for speed and shared risk. But this created huge quality control challenges. Misaligned rivets and unfilled gaps showed oversight was lacking. Flawed parts slipped through and the focus shifted from engineering to rapid assembly. Small problems were overlooked to keep production moving. The crisis was the result of cascading mistakes across companies and countries. Boeing's final checks failed to catch them. The trust in Boeing's brand was built on quality. Now, that trust was broken. The Dreamliner's vulnerability was a product of its own complexity. The fallout was immediate and global. Boeing's reputation, already damaged by the 737 MAX crisis, took another hit. The company admitted production issues and launched an investigation, but the damage was done. Airlines faced regulatory scrutiny and had to ground planes for intensive inspections, causing massive disruptions. Passenger confidence in the 787 collapsed. 
Airbus, Boeing's rival, saw a surge in interest for its A350, which also uses carbon fiber but with a different manufacturing approach. The crisis shifted the balance of power in the wide-body market, suppliers faced audits, and the entire industry was forced to re-examine its processes. The pursuit of efficiency through outsourcing had created hidden risks. The China Southern incident was a brutal lesson. In aviation, there's no room for compromise on quality. Aviation safety expert John Cox put it simply, this was a crisis of trust, not technology. Carbon fiber is sound. The problem was in the manufacturing discipline. Every step from raw materials to final assembly must be perfect. On some 787S, that perfection slipped. The system of checks and balances failed. The issue wasn't design but human and systemic failure under pressure to innovate and deliver fast. Trust between manufacturer and customer is built on the promise of perfection. Restoring it requires more than repairs, it demands a cultural shift. The focus must return to quality, empowering workers to speak up and investing in better oversight. Building safe airplanes will be slower and costlier, but it's the only way forward. China Southern's drastic move may be remembered as the catalyst for change. The future of aviation depends on regaining trust, because safety is everything.